The Jordan 2 is set to release tomorrow at a retail price point of $200. $200 for some Jordan 2s. I can't lie. For a two, that's a little bit too much, no pun intended. We've seen Jordan 2s of the past release for a little bit different of prices compared to threes, four, fives, and six. Very similar to that of how the Jordan 1 currently retails for 180, but some are now retailing for 200 as well. With that being said, the Jordan 2 Chicago is going to be the last sneaker that I'm picking up in the last Jordan 2 of 2022. And I think that it's a good shoe to go out with a bang with. It's an OG model, a classic model, and a model that brought a lot of history moving forth for the Jordan line in general. As stated in my previous video, the Jordan 2 was designed around the fact of recent injuries with Jordan himself breaking his navicular tarsal bone. And this was the shoe that, for some of the most part, the last shoe that was not designed by Tinker Hatfield. The Jordan 2 has not really been known for that that long as a very popular colorway. And some even say that if it wasn't for Tinker Hatfield, Jordan would have left Nike and went somewhere else. However, in my humble opinion, I've always been a fan of the model itself and the colorway. Now, all the other colorways that go along with it, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's not one of my favorite. I'm not gonna sit here and cap, but at the same time, it's not as bad as, as you know some people make it out to be. We got the Nike Air on the back on this pair and the Nike Air on the bottom. The Jordan 2 also changed up a little bit, removing that Nike swoosh on the shoe entirely, putting that air flight on the tongue. As far as quality goes for a $200 price shoe, this quality for the most part is decent. It's, it's fairly good. You know, I don't want to praise it too much, but it is a good quality craft shoe. Now, as I've always stated before, and I'll continue to state it because the comments will, you know, annihilate me if I don't, just because something feels good doesn't mean it necessarily is good. That's just how life is in general. You know, that steak, that pork chop, you feel that pork chop you be eating? That pork chop good, ain't it? It ain't necessarily good for your body, but it, it do taste good, you feel me? This does feel like butterscotch, you know, rumple still skin nut sack leather, alligator nut sack leather on the side, and ostrich backbone, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's all those actual materials. It could be just some straight up faux leather. But I'll leave that up to someone out there that is a materialologist that knows all that top grain, bottom grain, best grain leather out there. But it feels good. It feels good. The side Sizing on this shoe, for the most part, I would say pretty true to size. I am an eight and a half and a nine, but I prefer to go eight and a half on the majority of my sneakers because I like a snug fit. A snug fit always, for me, in my opinion, takes away from less wrinkles in a shoe. This one though in particular is a size nine. This is a size nine shoe. But keep that in mind that I went up a half a size, not necessarily because I wanted to, but because this was the size I was able to get my hands on at the time. I would preferred having a size eight and a half, but the size nine, for the most part, it fits just as well. But there's a lot of cushioning also on the anklet, as you can see. Looks like a damn, you know, Pillsbury Doughboy stomach right there. Maybe a Pillsbury Doughboy's. <laughs> Never mind keep my mind out the gutter. There's also the Nike Air on the inside, on the insole, the tongue itself is in a very nice, I wouldn't want to say this is almost like a fleece material, but it's probably just standard cotton, but it feels like almost like a fleece that you put on, like a fleece jacket. Very nice, plush, and uh, promising for the most part. The paint job, the cuts, the crevices, the stitching on this shoe in particular, I gotta give it up for this particular pair. It's a A1 steak sauce. The box that it comes in is a pure embellishment of the Flight logo and everything that Flight is about. And this is actually this pair right here that I'm able to show you guys. You see, I remember I mentioned before that this is a women's size 10 and a half. It's also the equivalent to a size men. And this is, as you can see, and I forgot, I had the, the first pair I had shows you guys was a size nine in men's. This is a size 10 and a half in women. However, these are the same exact shoes as the previous ones that I showed you. The, the, the sizing, they're not skinnier, the, the width. You know how they say like women's shoes are more cut? Let me, let me explain something to you a little bit about that, unfortunately. Like Jordan brand is not going to make a men's shoe, a GS shoe, and then also make a women's version of the men's shoe and make it slimmer when they could just make the same exact shoe out there. So ladies, men, just keep in mind, this is something just to think about for ladies out there and for men out there. If you go into the store and then they're all sold out in size men's nine, ask for a women's 10 and a half. Ladies, if you go in and you're trying to get a size 10 and a half and they're sold out in the women's 10 and a half, just grab the men's. It's the same exact thing. Promise you, there's no width, heights, in it, nothing is different whatsoever. And the price point ain't different whatsoever. On the inside of the box, it comes with the OG pamphlet that kind of breaks down 
the model of the Jordan 2. We've seen this before on the Jordan 1s. We've seen this before on the Jordan 3s as well. And now we are seeing it on the Jordan 2. And this is not something like new. This is actually something old that they are bringing back. And as I mentioned before, Jordan brand, I love it. I like these little things that you do every once in a while, you feel me? But I would say, can you give us a retro card? I'm really digging having this Jordan 2 though in the collection because I, at this time, I mean, I own the Union 2s, now these, I did have a pair of the Lowe's. I only own a few of Jordan 2s out there, but I always wanted to have the classic model. I did have the Varsity Highs, I sold them way back in the day, and I definitely regret it now. Now, having this Chicago in my possession, this is definitely going to be in rotation 2023, and definitely something that I'm gonna keep in the collection as long as I can, you know? I don't see myself needing to buy another one of these even if they retro them. So if you're a sneakerhead out there and you've been collected for a minute, I can definitely tell this is probably a shoe that's gonna be on your radar as it is to me and it was on mine. Me personally, I've been waiting for some more twos and I've been hearing and been saying this for a long time on my Twitter, make sure you guys go follow me, that I've gotten word from some people from Jordan Brand that the two, they're trying to give that same type of push with the twos as they did with the ones. So the collaborations with J Balvin, that's why we see the Union Jordan 2, the J Balvin Jordan 2. They're trying to continue doing what they did with the Jordan 1 to now doing that with the Jordan 2. This is definitely a very heavy shoe in a way, the bottom more so. That midsole is very, very chunky and heavy, but I wanna say also that the paint job done on here is immaculate. There's no like brush strokes, there's no like bleeding. Everything is fairly well put together. Nike Air, even the padding and, you know, the little back anklet, I'm, I'm loving it, I'm digging it. And the Air Jordan tongue is very nice and debossed and pushed in with a silicone type of material representing on the Air Jordan. Black laces only, that's all I really need to succeed and I'm happy, man. Let me know down below in the comment section, are you guys copping these or not? They are dropping tomorrow, so get on to it, because uh, it ain't nothing else but to do it, man. It's not a Saturday release, it's a Friday release. Jordan Brand is trying to release these on the 30th to get that revenue sales just before the end of the year. This is definitely gonna bring in a little nice hunk of change, and I think these are gonna do very well. I think these are gonna do better than a lot of two releases of the past, you know, recently. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'm gonna end you guys off with that on foot, and I'm gonna see you guys on the next video, man. I'm out, peace. Thank you.